Morris Jumel Mansion was built in 1765 by British military officer Roger Morris. It was used as a summer home for him and his family. There is approximately 135 acres of land on this territory. It is also the highest point in Manhattan as it is sitting upon a hill. With the outbreak of the Revolutionary War, Roger Morris and his family, as they were British loyalists, fled back to England. And in the autumn of 1776, George Washington moved in and began to use the mansion as his own war room. Many battles were planned out in this mansion, such as the Battle of Harlem Heights. The Battle of Harlem Heights was Washington's first victory. Despite the victory, on October 21st, Washington was forced to retreat from the mansion and to go to the White Plains. The British and Hessian army used the mansion as their headquarters for the remainder of the war. After the war, New York State confiscated the mansion and sold it to cover war debts. In 1810, the mansion was bought by the Jumo family. Eliza and Stephen Jumo moved in. But then, in 1832, Mr. Stephen died. After Stephen's death in 1832, Eliza got remarried to Sir Aaron Burr. The marriage, unfortunately, lasted for less than a year, and they got divorced in 1833. Aaron Burr died on the day his divorce papers were filed, in 1836. Eliza Jewell lived in the mansion until 1865, when she died of natural causes at the ripe age of 90. In 1904, most of the Jumal land had been sold as the city started to expand. The city of New York purchased the mansion and the two acres of land that it is on. And today it is used as a museum and it is the oldest house in Manhattan. Now that it's a museum, the Morris Jumal Mansion showcases its history throughout the American Revolutionary War and early American colonial history. The mansion also hosts events such as ghost hunts and weddings. So pull up. Check it out. It's a great place to visit. In autumn of 1776, when the Civil War... <laughs> you said Civil the War? The Revolutionary War! <laughs> All right, restart that, restart that. <laughs> On October 21st, Washington, despite the victory, Washington was still forced to move to the White Plains and out of the... Bro. <laughs> Washington was forced to leave. I got this! He had to leave, man. On October 21st, despite their victory, Washington was forced to move to the White Plains and out of the mansion. The, the British and the Hessian army... What's so funny? <laughs> but at its museum, the mansion's... <laughs> As a mansion, <laughs> no. <laughs> now that the now that the <laughs> now that the mansion <laughs> is a museum. Right, stop, stop laughing, I got this. Now that it's a mansion. <laughs> now that museum. <laughs> now that it's a mansion, the Morse Jumel mansion. <laughs> 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 now that it's a mansion, the Morris Jumel Mansion. <laughs> it's cold out here. Bro. I know. <laughs> now that it's a museum, the Morris Jumel Mansion teaches us about the history. <laughs> it's not funny. Now that it's a man. Now that it's a museum. Wait, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Stop. I got this. Now that it's <laughs> Michael, just do it. No, I got it. I got it. Now that it's a museum. <laughs> <laughs>